Millions of dollars are lost every year to Jamaican lottery scams like PCH, or Publishers Clearinghouse. The real Publishers Clearinghouse, however, runs a lottery and is advertised with the winners receiving a larger-than-life check, balloons, and cameras. But that's not quite what happens when scammers notify a victim that they have won the PCH lottery, which includes an $18.5 million prize and assets like a new car, insurance, and gas for life. But they have to pay a percentage of the taxes or pay for delivery or government paperwork or stamps or whatever nonsense that they're going to throw at their victim. Now, unlike the large call centers that run the refund scams, there's no hierarchy here. They fend for themselves. They usually work in small groups. Less than a two-hour flight to Florida makes them more dangerous. Now, these PCH scammers, they spend a lot of time vetting their victims. Because once they steal all their money, they then want to turn the victims into money mules. Often, elderly victims will become money mules either because they don't know what they're doing is wrong or because they're trying to recoup some of their losses. PCH scammers rely heavily on social engineering to manipulate their victims. So, when a PCH scammer goes up against an OG scam baiter, like Modder Paul scam baits, well, it's like watching a master's chess game. You are about to see a series of scam baits while Ray exhausts all 20 victims and mules of a single PCH scammer calling himself Michael Washington a true chess game and true battle of social engineering. You can only imagine the wild stories, the outlandish behavior, and the number of characters that it would take to exhaust every single mule of this scammer while keeping the scam bait going. Let's do it. Hello, Publishers Clearinghouse. Yes, my name's Susan Walker. I'm calling about what I think is a prize I may have won. I received yeah. a message. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm unprepared for this. I mean, what did I win? Yes, ma'am. You have won the Publishers Clearing House. You're speaking with Michael Washington. You have oh, won yourself a prize, okay? What I want you to do now, are you standing right now or you're sitting down? Um, let me sit down. This sounds like something I should be sitting down for. Hold on. All right, get your, all right, get yourself a clean sheet of paper and a pen, and I oh, want okay. you to have a good seat because if you're not seated, this could sweep you off your feet. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. All right. So let let me know. Let me know as soon as you have a pen and a paper. Now you're gonna write down how much money you have won. That's nine hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Write it down. Whoa, nine hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Oh That's my right. goodness. That's right. Right, and goodness. now you're gonna write now. Now you're gonna write down the Bank of America. You know the Bank of America? Yes. Right, and now you're gonna write down seven thousand every week inside your mail for the rest of your life. Until oh, my... you have deceased. Write it down. If I'm lucky and I live to be 84. Oh my goodness. The, the value of the 7000 a week over 50 years is $18.2 million. That's right. 
That's oh correct. My, oh my heavens. That, that simply means you are you're a million here, okay? Oh Lord, I don't know what to say, Michael. This is exciting. What was your job before you retired? I'm, I'm, I'm a claims health, health claims administrator. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. I have a baby. His name is Jacob. Okay, and how old is your baby? He's four months old. Four months old, oh my God. And, and uh, are you married, single, widowed, or divorced? Um, widowed. You're widowed. So where's yes. your where's your husband? Um, I don't like to talk about it. Um, he was a he was kind of a bad person, so I had to get him out of my life. But that's a that's oh, a story okay. for something else. Something that's more of, of a story that I would tell a psychologist, no or if I have to okay, return to, I might have to return okay. to court. But he's taken okay. care of. Okay. Okay. No say. problem. That's no problem. That's no problem. Okay. Yeah, I got I got rid of him because he was mean to me. Yeah. He was a bad guy. Yes, he was. His name was Bradley. Okay, and what I'm saying to you now, sweetheart, uh, do you want to receive this money in a lump sum or you want to receive it in a monthly installment? I would say if I can get that in a lump sum to my bank account, that would be best. Okay, and the last time you checked your savings account, how much was there? It's about 162000 I would say. In my checking, I have uh, 13400 12. We were supposed to be coming over there this afternoon to meet you. Right now, we're about 45 minutes to an hour away from your house. So we're going to try to meet you there this, this evening before before it's dark, okay? Because we're, we're close to Salt Lake City right now. How far are you away from Salt, Salt, Salt Lake City, Utah? Uh, so, Salt Lake City is about 40 minutes to the north. Okay, it's going to be Michael Washington, Mr. Tad Salone. Mrs. Deborah oh, wow. Allen and Mrs. Mary Wilson, okay? You want it to be delivered to you public on the television, on the radio, all over your state, all over the world, on the local newspaper, or, or, or the television station, or you want it to be confidential between you, the company, and the good Lord? I would like it to be confidential, um, only because right. I've been in the news with the death of my husband, and I don't want to draw any unwanted attention. Well, it's good to be silenced because people could come out of the hoods. People could say you're their friend, you're their family for what you have, all right? But, no, there's some things I want to do. If I have this much money at my disposal, I'm going to be, I'm going to help out with certain causes. Like yeah, things yeah, that, yeah, you yeah. Know. You, you could help for the Children's Hospital, the St. Jews, the Rotary Club, and also to the, also to the military. Well, there's a little girl in in uh, in Sandy, Utah. She's not going to live for very long, and she. I would like to contribute to make a wish for her. She's such a sweet little girl, and this would be a nice way to to give her something to live for for the small amount of time she has well, left. All right. She's gonna all right. Well, what, well, what? Yes, yes, good. Well, what I'm saying to you now, sweetheart. As I'm speaking with you right now, your prize is on claims. When the guys get over there today, you're going to need to have your IDs, also with the information that I have provided to you, also with your claimer's card, which you are going to need to claim your prize. If the guys should get over to your house and you don't have this claimer's card, they're going to be turning right back. So you're going to have to run to your closest drugstore, to be picking up your two claimers card for your A delivery and get back home, all right? There's claimers cards at which store? There's a CVS pharmacy I know for sure about 20 minutes south. Okay, great, because you're going to have to run over to one of those stores right now to be picking up your card to have it in your hand mm. when we get there this afternoon. Get a clean okay. piece of paper with a pen so I could give you the name of the card which you're going to need to that, okay? Okay, well, I have paper right now. What And what is what do you want me to write down? The name of the card, it is one, O-N-E, vanilla, as in the flavor ice cream, vanilla. Oh, vanilla. I love vanilla. Right, and then you're going to have gift card. 
you're gonna need to you're gonna need to pick, get two of those cards. You're gonna need to have two of those cards. Those cards okay. is gonna be your 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 your, del your 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 delivery card. That is your claimer's card, which you have to have in your possession with your IDs and the information which I have provided to you in order to claim the prize today when the when the when the delivery guys arrive at your home. And whatever this card costs you to obtain at the store, as soon as we get there, it's also going to be a refund back to you, all right? It's just for okay. you to get yourself registered, all right? Do you think you're dressed right now? Do you think you're um, dressed right now? Well, do you I'm think you're dressed right now to run to the store to get this card and get back? Um, actually, no. I need to, I need to get out of my, my work uniform. I'm going to set the phone down. I just need about 10 minutes to get ready. Each one of these cards is going to be a total amount, which is going to be for $500 and some cents, which is also going to be refunded back to you as soon as possible when we get there this afternoon to shake okay. your hands and put a big kiss on your cheek and congratulate you. So oh, in wow. total... It just amazes okay, me how I, know, I, how I can change I know like this. I, I know... I know you're excited. I just want you to focus and understand because, listen, I don't want you to make any mistake because, remember, haste make waste, and, I, and I'm an experienced yeah. businessman. I'm 65 years old. I'm doing this job since I was, I was 25 years old, all right? My mom was a nurse, and my dad was the pastor. I'm a deaconess at my church. I want you to understand I'm a very experienced businessman, all right? So I'm going to be able to help you. I'm going to able to for you to live the American dream. So I just want you to listen to me, focus, and take your time, all right? Okay. All right. Good, 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 good. Very, very great. Very, very great. So how far you say you are away now from the store? Um, it takes about 20 minutes to get there during this time of the day. Put your phone on speaker. Put your phone on speaker for me and let me know as soon as you're in your car because you're not going to be driving while you're, while you're speaking to me. You're not going to do nothing at the store until you say, Michael, I'm in the parking lot at the store, okay? Okay. All right. Blow your car horn three times for me for victory. Yeah, okay. All right. Great, sweetheart. Very, very great. Let me know now. As soon as you're at the store and at the store in the parking lot, you're not gonna do nothing until you let me know when you're in the parking lot, okay? Okay. At a red light, I'd like to ask you some questions. All right, lay the phone down. Just lay it down. Lay the phone down. How long have you been doing this? It sounds like you're you're really good at it. How many years have you been doing the oh. PCH? Well, just like I told you, I'm six years old and I'm doing this job since I was. Wow. years old. I visit every 52 state of America, including, including the Hawaii, all right, and, and include uh, the little aunt which uh, America has honed, all right. I, I go to everywhere in America, all right. I donate. I do donations every single month when I get my paid to the charities and to the Red oh, Cross wow. and, and also to, to the St. Jude's Hospital. I want you to understand you have to be fit, you have to be strong, because listen, None of us witchers coming over, we're not licensed paramedics, so I just want to make sure that you don't have any illnesses, okay? I got, I got vaccinated and I went to the doctor um, about a month ago. I was in good shape. There's no reason for me All to All right, sweetheart. And listen now, the main thing, the main thing what I want okay, you to Mike, focus on, Michael, right? Mike, Mike, Michael, I'm driving. You need to be quiet. All right, sweetheart. Okay, all right, all right. Be I'm quiet. On the Michael, I'm driving. Be quiet. All right. Be quiet. Um, it looks like I, I'm a little bit too late to get past it, but we're going to have to wait on this train. All right. No problem, sweetheart. Take your time. Well, I have to... I'm, pu I'm pulled over. We're going to have to wait until the train crosses. All right, sweetheart. Okay. So how, is, how did... Did you enjoy the holidays? How was your new year? Oh my God, my New Year is pretty fun. I enjoy the Christmas. I go, I go to to uh, to to, 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 to uh, Washington to, to visit oh, wow. my family. You you, you you have you ever heard of George Washington? Oh, of course, he's our first president. 
Yes, that, 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 is, that, is, that is that is my great that is my great granddad. He's your great grandfather? Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. My, my last oh my name goodness. is Washington. Yes, that's right. You're related to right. George uh -huh. Washington. Oh my goodness! I feel so honored. Do you does your family pay respects to George Washington's burial? Do you go visit his mural? Yeah. Yes, I, uh, the, la the last time the last time I go to check on his on his on his uh, on his on his on his on his tomb. It was in December. It was about December 15. I go to take a flowers to his tomb. Where is he buried? He's 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 buried in New York. Oh, New York. I always thought it was yeah. maybe Vermont. Because I heard Pardon? he had a. I heard he was. I heard he retired in Vermont. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We we have some, we have some family in Vermont also, but. Well, he, 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 he has been he, he has been pre cremated. Oh, but he was okay. He's cremated. Well, that's fascinating. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. And is is is, your, is 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 it is it a son you have or is it a daughter? It's a, it's a son. His name is Jacob. Jacob. He, he's a he's a part of the Bible. Law. Well, he's got a biblical name, but when when I named him Jacob, I wasn't thinking of the Bible. I just like the name All Jacob. Right. All right, you're you're gonna able to, you're gonna you're gonna able to, you're, that that little that little guy which is gonna be grown up, he's gonna be grown up in a very wonderful, positive life, which he's gonna be able to do whatever he wanna do. All right. Oh, that no, oh, yes, of course. Right. I I just want I just want you to take care of him. All right, because the Lord Jesus Christ, He knows the best. All right. What do you mean? No, I'm saying that the Lord Jesus Christ knows the best. Why are you talking about that? I'm an atheist. I don't like it when what people push. I don't like it when people push religion on me. You are oh, okay. you're, me. You're, 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 you're offending me. You're me. You're ISIS, right? An atheist. Okay, all right. No problem. What, what proof do you have? That God is real. What proof do I have that the Lord is real? Yes. What is it a certainty? Well, I'm going to say something to you. Once I pray, once I pray, I always get an answer. So I know that there has to be someone which is the creator. You actually hear God speak back to you? Who do you, who do you believe in? I, I believe in obeying the law and paying my taxes and being a good person. Yes, I'm here now. You're at the CVS now? <clears throat> yes, yes, I'm at the CVS. Those people in the store, they are very inquisitive. They love to get in people's personal business. No one doesn't know that you're a winner. If they ask you the purpose of these, you're getting these cards, you let them know it's for personal use, all right? Well, but I'm not going to get to use those cards personally, so that's not being very truthful, is it? No, well, listen to me now, sweetheart. Remember, if those people should get in your business, they could let the government overcharge you and taxes. So that's the reason why I'm putting you on your guard. Remember, as I told you, I'm an experienced man. You just need to listen to me and cooperate so everything could be done for you the right way and the proper way, all right? It sounds to me like you're wanting me to tell a lie. No, it's, no, it's not like you're telling a lie. Well, they okay. know that you're a winner. Ben. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and buy the cards. I don't think they're going to ask me. Right. Well, I'm, I'm let, remember, I'm an experienced businessman. I know what they can ask you, and I know what they can ask you. So, so you keep your business private now. You go in the store now and let them know you need two one vanilla gift card for five hundred a piece now. Okay. You go well, to the I'm cashier. A... You go to the counter. You go well, to the I'm counter gonna... at the cashier. You're not. You're not gonna. You're I... not gonna. You're not gonna be talking to me while you're in the store. Okay. When you're back outside, you will speak with me. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave the phone in the car. I gotta plug it into the charger. 
All right. Good, 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 sweetheart. Do what you have to do and let me know when you're back in the car. And keep your business private, honey, because right now you're a million here. Okie dokie. Welcome okay. on board. Okay. Okay, I was able to get the two cards, no problem. All right, very, very good, very, very good. All right, what I want you to do for me now, head home for me now and let me know as soon as you're home, all right? Okay. Um, I'm in the house. I'm just going to put my baby in the crib. All right, sweetheart. Very, very great. Congratulations to you once more, honey. Welcome and board to the Publishers Clearing House. So what I want you to do for me, get one of those cards in your hand for me, please. Get one of them in your hands for me first. All right, look at the front of the card now. You're going to see four sets of numbers. They're in brackets, four by four. You're going to take your time and provide me with those numbers. Okay. Um, uh, four, one, one, eight, three, seven, eleven, D five. What seven, do you say? Three, what do you say? Four, um, three, seven, eleven, D five. Just, just like you gave me four one one eight. What else? Right. Just like how you gave me four okay. one one eight. That's the way I want you to give me the numbers. I, I am four one one eight three seven eleven t five. Eleven t five. What? I don't. I... No, the eleven day symbol, and then five. No, what 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 do you mean by eleven? What what do you mean there? What do you, is, is it is it it is three seven one one? No, it's three seven, and then the eleven symbol. These are new. These are new. Um, they're new numbers that the government has come out with. They're everywhere. They're new symbols that we had to learn. I, it seems like something is wrong there. If you want. I can go check on my neighbor Polly to see if she can take a picture for me. How do how do you write that number? Um, oh, the eleven D symbol. It looks like two S's stacked on top of each other. No, because you said that you'd have to take a photograph of the card and send it to you. But due to the fact, what I would wanted you to do, if you if you're gonna send the photograph of, of the cards, you're gonna have to delete those photo out of your neighbor's phone. Or you, 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 you can do it you can do it off their phone. I'm gonna have them take the pictures and then send them to my phone and then I'll text them to you. Can, can your can your phone can your phone send picture messages? Yes. Because I get them. Huh? I figure. Yes, they can send messages. Okay, do, do you ever do that before? Um I had to do that with my driver's license about a year ago. Open the open the other card and see if it's it, and see if it has those same numbers on it. Okay, four one one eight three two four one nine one Kennedy two eight four. Hold one, on, two. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nine eight, one four. two two, right? Hold no, on, no. nine one two two. Nine one. Kennedy symbol, Kennedy two. These are new numbers. They came out in November. I don't understand what what, what the problem is. I want you to, to text uh, the sixteen digit number for me for the first one and the sixteen okay. digit number for the second one. All right. Michael. Oh, hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Okay, hold no, on. No, no, no. No, I'm getting a little frustrated here. It's only going to take a couple of minutes for me to go next door and and have my neighbor take photos, and you'll see the cards yourself. I'll be right remember, back. Keep your business. Keep your business private. All right, I'm on the phone. He sent them to me, and then I watched as he deleted the photos from his phone. He's a really honest person. Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. Hold on. Oh, I just got the message. Hold on. Let I look at it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you could see the receipt, too. Okay, just patient with me and hold on, because due to the fact it, it's the first time we have been getting these cards with this with this n different type of numerals there. So just hold oh, on, okay? okay? Um, I'm going to do what my father taught me now that you have photos of the cards. I'm going to go ahead and put them into the shredder, because I don't want anyone to get the numbers. No, no, no. Um, 
Okay, now, now, now it's completely safe. You're the only one. You're the only one with the cards. All right, sweetheart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you? You put them in the shredder? Yeah, I shredded them up because they contain sensitive information. So I did that right, to hold protect, on, hold on. protect the All numbers. Right, hold on, hold the line. Hold, hold the line, sweetheart. Hold the line. Okay, okay. All right, good. I just sent over those information to the headquarters. I I just checked the cards on my Amazon. They're fine, so there's nothing wrong with them. All right. Well, what I'm saying to you now, sweetheart, what has been happening now, we're getting everything processed now into the system for you so that okay. we could able to get everything sorted out so that I could able to meet you. All right? Oh, great. So you're going to meet me tonight? Do you... Do well, I'm, gonna... I'm thinking of, I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering if we should meet you tonight or we should just have everything sorted out as early as possible in the morning. Are you going to work tomorrow? Uh, yes, I have to go to work. Okay. Uh, what, what time, what time, you, what time, are, what time you leave work? What time do you leave your workplace? I might leave at 3.30 and I get home by 4. Okay. And how long now since you've been doing that job, sweetheart? Um, I've been doing that job since 2012. Okay, so how much you get for your pay every two weeks? Um, well, it works out. It works out to about about thirty five hundred every two weeks. Good, good. Because I I want when we come over there, I don't want I we don't want we don't want to meet the wrong person. Do you think you have a photograph of yourself in your phone which you could send me so I could look at you before I meet you? And I, also, I'm gonna send yes. you a photograph of of our team. This is what I used for my employer when I got my job. Okay, all righty. Hold on while I look at it. Hold on, sweetie. Is that you in the picture? or? That's correct, sweetheart. That is me. That is me. Also wow. with Mary Allen and Mrs. Susan White. Wow, you're handsome. Wow. Oh, what my God, statement. sweetheart. You're, you're, you, you are, you, you're, you're a doll in there, okay? I just want you to calm yourself down and settle yourself down because I'm going to put a big kiss on your cheek. Probably I'm going to put a, put a ring on your finger. All right. Well, what I'm saying to you now, you want, you want, you want the champagne, you want the balloons, or you want the flowers? Um, oh, my goodness. What kind of flowers? You don't. Uh, what we have, we have some nice bouquets. I want petunias. That's my favorite flower. What? You do look like George Washington. I see the resemblance. And I like the pug. The pug's a beautiful dog. I, I, I'm suddenly not feeling too well. I need to I need to I need to get something to eat. My blood sugar is getting low. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, you wanna get something to eat, sweetheart? And as soon as you get something to eat and you're and you're feeling better, you give me a call back. All right, sweetheart? I'm gonna be here waiting for you. Why do you want me to call you? I mean, what? I thought we were going to do this tomorrow. Well, uh, well, yes, we're going to get everything done tomorrow, but, but, but probably I'm going to have to give you uh, some updates further on before you go to, before you, when you finish what you do. I would like to get something to eat, and then I need to lay down because I'm not feeling too well. I'm so excited. All right. This is going right. to be a, this is going to change my life for the better. Thank you so much. That's correct. That's correct. So just relax yourself. Have a good night rest. And remember now, don't do nothing foolish. Don't you worry yourself. Don't you fuss yourself. Anything that you need to talk to me, anything that you need to find out, I'm the one you're supposed to ask. All right? All right. Bye-bye now. Good night. Good night for yeah. now. Bye -bye. Don't let the bed bugs bite you. All right? Okie dokie. Bye -bye. Yes, Michael Washington, Susan Walker. That's correct. Michael, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, sweetheart. How are you? Oh, I had a busy day. I just want to, basically, once I have my money, I'm going to go ahead and go to work the next day. But I want to pretend like I'm slacking off so that my boss could come over and uh, start ragging on me, telling me that I'm a slowpoke. And I'm going to say, you know what, boss? You can take this job and shove it. And then I'm going right. to hook him up. Then I'm going to squeeze his nose with my fingers pinched. He's like, bonk, bonk. Bye-bye, Dolores. Bye-bye, yeah. Francis. 
I'm gonna go. I gotta go pay the money. Meet me at my house at 6 p.m. or, or 7 p.m. for dinner for after dinner drinks, so we can go on an old ladies night. Yeah, we go to the we go to the to the to the women's club and we can just watch the men dances for us. It's on me, ladies. All right. Well, what is going on here now, sweetheart? All right, as I'm speaking with you. All right, due to the fact that the money which you're supposed to be receiving, it's coming all the way from Wall Street, New York. You, you oh remember I told you yesterday that the, the money is coming from all the way from New York, right? Oh, oh my goodness, that's coming a long way. Right, but the money is already in your state, which is Utah. Well, oh, what wonderful. has been happening now, because I just got, the, got some email with some information here on my computer system. All right, there, there is a fee which the government required that is supposed to be taken care of with it for your state-to-state -state approval taxes, which is to get you fully approved for your prize so that whenever we have it delivered to you, you could be able to be receiving this money all in a lump sum and tax-free when you receive it, okay? Right, so what has happened here today, Mrs. Walker? There, there is a state-to-state -state um, approval. Well, uh, hold on, you're, you're calling me Mrs. Walker. I'm no longer married. All right, Miss Susan, I know you're not married anymore. All right? Yeah, I took well, care uh, of that. What I'm saying I, took, to, I took care of Brad. Yeah, yeah he's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just say yeah. he's, he's several feet yeah. under at this point, so... Right. Well, I'm here for you now, all right? I don't know if women can have what you call boners. You know when your ding-dong goes bigger? Because I don't have yeah. one. But if I did, it would be great if it was bigger yesterday when I saw your picture. You're, okay, you're, okay. You're a, you're a handsome devil. Right, right, right. There is a state-to-state -state approval tax, which has to be fully covered under the prize. That is the, that is the stamp, which is supposed to be stamped on the check, which you're supposed to be receiving, so that we could able to get the fully gov to, could get the fully go ahead by the, by, by the governor general of your state, so that we could get the fully authorization to come in this jurisdiction to have the prize delivered to you. All right? And remember now, as I told you, Mrs. Susan, anything that you've paid out so I'm, far. No, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a Mrs. I'm a Miss. All right, listen to me. Susan, Susan, Susan. I'm, lis I'm listening. Or, 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 or Walker. Susan or Walker. So that's what, what, me now. What did, you mean by, that's... what did you mean by Governor General? I, I don't understand what a Governor General is. Okay, the Governor General. The governor general, that, 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 is, that is the governor general, they are the one that is re responsible for the jurisdiction. Okay, I just have never heard of a governor general. Most generals right. are in the armed forces, whereas a governor no, no. is governor an elected. Ele gover gov uh, governor uh, general, uh, governor ge they have governor general at all states. I don't recall, and there's attorney generals. Right, not attorney general, not attorney general, not a lawyer. I'm saying governor general of your state. Listen to me. I'm saying that there is a state-to-state -state approval stamp, which is supposed to be stamped on the check, so that we could able to get the to, to get the go ahead, so that we could able to have the prize delivered to you. Okay. Right, and there is gonna be and there is gonna be a fee, which that stamp is gonna cost you. And that, that fee is also going to be refunded back to you because also you're supposed to receive a bonus prize. So you're also going to receive 500000 in a silver briefcase with your name Susan Walker on it. The fee for the stamp now, sweetheart, I want you to write it down. That's going to be for 35000 Write it down. $35,000. You sounded angry a few minutes ago. Why are you so angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm, I'm not angry because I was told you to hold on, honey, and, and you, were, you weren't hearing me so good. So I thought the line was a little bit bad. 
Oh, okay. All right. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm a businessman. You know how it goes when it comes to business. Some of the time you have to get a little bit more serious or get a little bit more aggressive in what you're doing. Because, you know, when we're doing business, business is not no games or no play around. Because, listen, if I don't, if I don't have this delivered to you, I could lose my job or I could go to jail because this is no type of petty money. This is no type of games or this is no type of jokes, okay? When I'm having okay. people money handled, okay. I have Michael, to be serious. Michael, I have Michael, to be Michael, no one. Michael, you're, you're, you're starting to worry me. It didn't, you didn't sound like you were under so much pressure yesterday. I didn't realize you can get into trouble over something as simple as giving away prize money. No, it's not. No, it's not like that. Because remember, once, 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 once I'm having something dealt with for someone which involves money. Remember, once you are a winner, I'm the one that is in charge for you. I'm the one that is have to make sure everything is done the right way and in the proper way. So everything is in my hands. So when I have something okay. to do, I want I want to get it over with. You understand? But I didn't right. realize that we would become so. So angry about it. I, I'm, no, no, I'm not I, angry, sweetheart. I'm, I'm thought, not angry. I thought, I, I thought that this was a fantastic, positive experience. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. I can't, I can't wait to meet you to put a big kiss on your cheek and congratulate you. Okay, my love? You rattled me I'm, with your anxiety. was rattling me. <laughs> I'm not an anxiety person. I'm a very good person. I'm an handsome man. You don't look at my photograph there. Oh, yes, you're definitely very handsome. Do do you do do you know do you know what do you know what is what is a certified check? You know what a certified check is? You're gonna have to go to the bank to get to get a, to get a certified check for the thirty five thousand. In the meantime, get yourself together and get yourself ready because I'm going to have to provide you with the name of the person which the check is going to be in, okay? I lost you, honey. What happened? Okay, I tried talking to you and you weren't there. Why weren't you responding? Oh, oh, oh. I, I wasn't around the phone. I, I, go to, I go to get a glass of water. I go to get a glass of water. Okay, because if I ask for you and you don't come, if you don't... If I summon you and you don't answer, I'm going to think you disconnected. Oh. You better I'm not do that again. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, my love, okay? I'm sorry, my love. Settle yourself down. Don't get mad at me. I am. I'm very irritated. If I'm expecting you on the phone, you better be there. All right, honey. All right. No, okay, now, no putting, problem. Okay, I'm putting the phone down. I can't talk to you while I'm driving. All right, darling. Be safe. Shut up! Take your Shut time. up! Shut up! Um, uh, go Did ahead, they ask honey. you, are you getting this check? What are you going to tell them? That's a good question because I don't know anybody by that name. Do I tell it for it? I can tell them it's for stamps to get the governor, the governor general's approval. No, no, no. no. I don't. No. What do you? No, no. I'm not going to tell them that. In case they ask you, you just let them know you see a piece of property which you needed and you're paying for it, or if you or you see a house which you like and you're paying for it. I know you're a smart girl. You're a smart girl, so you find something good to put on it. You doesn't let them know okay. nothing about your price, right. nothing the about formal, any government. The, the form the formal the for, the formal say under penalty of perjury. You know what that means, right? If I lie on this form and it's discovered that I lie, I can go to jail. No, don't nothing like that, sir. Everything is okay. You don't need to worry yourself. You're a smart girl. You... So you want me to lie on the form? Remember, in life, sweetheart, when you're poor, no one doesn't know you're poor. But when you're rich, everyone try to know, know you. So listen, you have to keep your business secured. So when you're well I... rich now... The IRS could care less if you're rich or poor. They just want their fair share. That's right. Good, good, good. So you don't worry about them. Michael. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I got I was able to get the certified check. Oh, okay, great. And 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 and, and, and did, 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 did they give you any hard time there? Uh well I had to fill out a form like I said, so 
I just made it look like I was using it to make the investment into a possible home. Alright, sweetheart. No problem. No problem. Just let me know now as soon as you're in the parking lot at the post office, okay? Okay. I'm getting ready to leave. Overnight, Overnight express mail. Express mail. Express okay. Mail. Yeah. Okay. Right. And if they, ask, if they ask you what is inside, you just let them know. You just let them know it. 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 Oh my God! Uh, it was All pushing right, hold it. On. Hold on, I'm gonna check and see which other system can you use. I should wait until tomorrow. You could get it done. Will that be a problem for you? No, it shouldn't be. I don't see why not. And if you don't want to do it on your lunch time, you could just wait. As soon as you leave work, you just run there and do it. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? And how is son? How, how I'm doing great. How is Sonny Boy doing now? Oh, Jake. Yeah, Jake. Um, yeah, I had to scare my life with him. He pretty much almost went into a into a type of coma. They're filling him with fluids. He's going to be able to be released um, to, uh, tomorrow morning. So they gave me the clear. My mother is over at the hospital um, sitting by him. All right, so I just want you to do what you have to do at the post office now so that you could able to have your receipt so that we could able to start some process so that we could able to get business on the go for you, all right? Because of these winnings, I'm going to need that money for sure because I'm going to use it to pay for some of these bills I just we just got from yeah. the hospital visit. So um, now as far as, as things go, as soon as this certified check is received then i'm assuming um the money will be dispatched to me and i'll be good to go is that what's planning that's what's planning because i'm gonna i'm gonna have to wait to get the delivery date and time because uh as soon as this is re uh, received by the recipient they're gonna have to process it and make sure it's fully cleared and everything then i could able to get the time and date for you for your delivery I got a call from the IRS today. Oh, what they, did they, they say? So on the form, I put down that I was putting money down for some property. The IRS rejected it because I didn't put down any concrete information about the property I was going to, that I was trying to put down on. All right, good. So you have it mailed out, and I'm going to explain something to you back what you're going to do, all right? You have you have the information and everything to have it mailed off, right? I want you do for me now. Have it mailed off, and as soon as you have it mailed off, I could able to explain to you so you could go to the bank and have that been filled out. All right? Hey, Robert, there's something wrong with this address. Um, they told me that the address that you had me put on this envelope um, is on some type of watch list. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, honey, hold on. Okay. How far are you away from the FedEx? Well, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes away. All right, go to the FedEx now. Go to the FedEx. I'm on the line. Go to the FedEx. When you're at the FedEx, you let me know. Now, why would that, why right. would that address be on a watch list? What does that mean? Remember what has been happening now in, in our database computer system. There, there were some people that has been hacked into our computer system and stole out some of her information. So that's the reason why they say that information is on watch, okay? Oh, okay. That is nothing for you to worry about. That is okay. So are we sending this overnight to FedEx to the same address? Yeah, to the same address. FedEx, you're not going to use the post office, okay? Okay, um, there's something going on because um, I asked them too what was going on. What, whatever's going on with that address, the FBI is the one who flagged it. So any mail carrier or shipping center will not ship to that address because it's on a watch list for some reason. So all that, right, that, all right, that, all right. That address is, is it's a bad address. It's like a terrorist or something. I don't know. Those bastards that has been breaking to our computer system, 
they have stole out our information. That's the company information. But I never fully know that uh, they messed up the address that way. But you are the one that let me know now that the address is messed up and the FBI, they are checking up on that address. The name, the name that you got the check in, I'm going to have to let you get a new check, all right? I need to come up with a better reason. Otherwise, the IRS is just going to red flag that again and i'll have to go in again to look at that form see what i'm saying all, all right all right so, all right so listen to me now listen to me all right if if due to the fact right now the irs have a red flag on that do you do you do you do you want me to let you cancel the check and you could just take your time by getting but what they say anything over ten thousand. that's what they say right if we want to avoid the irs we have to do nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars your money is going to be tax free. So the IRS and everything, the company is going to have everything cleared out for you. But we know how to go around the system to get everything done. So remember, I'm a businessman. I got your back. All right. You scratch my back okay. and I scratch yours. All right, sweetie? Okay. And if, they try to ask, if they try to ask you why you need it, just let them know you have, a, you have a family member which is sick and you're helping them out. I was able to cancel the first check. I have a new check. Okay, so you, you don't have to sign no paperwork for this one, right? No, no, because it's below 10000 All right, sweetheart. Very, very good, honey. Very, very good. Very, very good. All right, because you're going to have, it's, it's going to be a deposit. You're going to do a, it's, 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 it's going to be, it's going to be a deposit. You're going to have to do at the Wells Fargo, okay, honey? Okay. Yes, sweetheart. Are you okay, okay now? There were three people in front of me. The security guard said, there's no way you're going to be able to do this before we shut hours. So I, I, they're closed. All right. Well, what you can, we're not in any rush anyway, sweetheart. So tomorrow, get this done. You already know what to do, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. Well, I'm starting to get hungry. I, haven't, I didn't eat lunch today, so I need to go to McDonald's. And then I'm gonna go back to the hospital to spend the night with my with my babies, my baby boy, and my mother. Okay. All right, honey. Have a good night, sweetie. I love you. All right. All right. Love you too. So put up all these information safe. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And keep your business private, honey. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? I'm fine, sweetheart. How are you? Better days. My son, Jake took a turn for the worse. He's back in the ICU again, so I'm back at the hospital. Oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. I don't really know the the details, but the doctor said that, that they don't want to take any risks with him because he's exhibiting symptoms of advanced COVID infection and they don't want him to pass on me. I'd hate to lose my child. Um, I'm sure you understand. I, I got a call from the IRS. Um, they're telling me that last night's transaction where I took out uh, $9,900 flagged another issue, um, what they call um, incidental transitions, meaning it looks to them like I'm, instead of um, trying to take more than the $10,000, i am trying to do it in smaller increments. And I said, no, you don't understand. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to help out a friend. And then that's when they threw a big red flag up. They said, I thought you were trying to put money down on a, on a property. And I go, no, no, that's different. I, I said, I've canceled that transaction. This one's different. This one's going to a friend who's in need. And they said, Do you, can you back that up with any kind of name and contact? And I said, I, I really don't feel comfortable doing that because I'm, I'm doing it as a, as a gift to a friend who's, who's been evicted. And they said, Okay, and then they said that they would get back to me. It seems like the IRS is being really mean. I, I don't know why they're like this. Since you do this all the time, what do you recommend on that on that on that regard? Or uh, it's because of the bank. It's because of it's the Bank of America. The Bank of America. That, that bank is very nosy. It is the Bank of America. So what I'm going to have to let you do one of the time, I'm going to let you open a new account with a different bank also, okay? Which bank do you have in mind? Well, I will, I will let you know. I will, I, will keep, I will keep you posted on that, all right? I need to return to work, but I get off at 4. Is there any way I can call you once I'm off work again? 
Yeah, yeah, you can call me at that time. You can call me when you're off work because remember, the, the, the IRS is not supposed to get involved in you with that 9,900 check because that is not over 10,000. Okay, so right. let them know yeah. to leave you. Let, let, let them know to leave you alone. And don't mess around well, you because that brother, is not over brother, their law. When I canceled the $3,500 check and then had another one cut for $9,900 with, yeah. with an entirely different reason, that in itself, they said, raises a flag. They did tell me that the behavior I was exhibiting looked entirely suspect. That's why they were asking me three times over and over. They made me repeat that I was giving money to a a person who was a friend who was yeah, homeless it's a family member. because of you, you eviction. Let them know. Yeah, they, they, wanted, they know it's a, it's, it's they a family to, member or a friend. They wanted me to give the name of my friend, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to have to make up something. You, you, the thing was you a phone give, call because I was turning you, red. I was you, lying you out my give, asshole. Hello? I was, I hello. was lying... I was lying out my asshole to this IRS agent. People don't just go and get a certified check for 3500 cancel it, and then get a $900 check, $9,900 check. Because that looks, that looks like circumvention. Yes, I know that. I know that. My bank manager, they said, you need to talk to the IRS ASAP. They are on to you. The lie started to get into... No man's land. I was lying out my asshole, and I just know, just from my daddy's lessons in life, never tell a lie. That way, you don't have to remember anything. Um, if you lie, you have to remember what you said. Otherwise, you're not drawing from your memories per se. You're drawing from the memory of a fake incident. Um, you're my lifeline. I want you to know that. I after you. After you shared that picture of you with me, you not only tickled my fancy, you've got me thinking, you know, we're, we're more than just, you know, doing this as a business. We're, we're possibly linked life partners in this because I trust right. you. With, I right. trust I, you. I know, I, I know, honey. I trust you too, and I love you, all right? I got your back. You scratch my you. back, and I scratch yours, all right? Well, I don't. I, I want this to go further than scratching backs. I'm talking tickle my woo woo. If you ever want to, I'll let you do that. Can you can you manage some hard sex? No, well, hard sex. I, I like it soft because I'm, I'm oh. a little. I'm short. I'm only five foot foot two, but I I do have lots of padding. I weigh three hundred and eighty four pounds. So you can slam oh. me, you can slam me pretty hard, and I'm probably not gonna feel it. But that's why I like it slow, and you have to tell me what you're doing while you're doing it. Okay, all right. Well, I I, I, I love to go the that. easy way. I, I I just love to go the easy way most of the time. I'm just kidding. All right. It, it's gotta. It's well, yeah. It's gotta be slow, easy, and you have to talk to me while you're doing it, and tell me when you're doing it. That way, I can act my part correctly. That's the oh, okay. whole reason. Because okay. I, I probably oh. won't fit. I probably won't notice anything physically. But, 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 oh. but, I have a great imagination. And if you're telling me, if you're telling me you're shafting a rod, I'll believe you, and I'll say, Oh my God! Oh my God! This is, this is so sweet, Jesus. Bring it on. Help, help me, buddy. Help me, help me, daddy. Help me. That's what I would say. And, and then that way All you right. can get your, you can get your pleasures. That's why. All right, all right. Well, well, you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get what you're looking for, okay? So don't worry. Talk to you at four o'clock, okay? Okay, at four. Man, I'm already getting wet thinking about this. You you are a sexy man. I love you more and more each time I talk to you. All right, sweetheart. I love you too. I, I'm a kind of busy now. I'm having some business started out. So and remember. Don't you let okay. the IRS get in? Get, don't let the IRS get too personal in your business. All right. So. All right, sweetie. I love you. Now a kiss from me to you. Be safe and take care until that time. All right. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Um. Hold on. I gotta place. You know I gotta what? Place. No. Hold on. I gotta place my own. Hi. Hi. Yes. Um, I would like to get 
two quarter pounders. No, make that two double quarter pounders with cheese. Uh, with three supersized french fries, extra salt. Um, and then a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with um, a split between barbecue and honey mustard. And please, a pa four packets of mayo with some, some plasticware. Um, and then I would like to have a garden salad with double ranch dressing. And then I would like to have uh, the McFlurry, uh, two McFlurries with one of them only halfway full because I want a hot apple pie put into the, to the half full one. And then uh, to drink, I would like to get a, I think I should go easy, a small diet Coke. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind waiting. Uh, are you there, Michael? You're getting something for your mom, too. Your mom. No, that's just for me. No. How, how much pounds do you weigh, sweetheart? I weigh 387 pounds. You're very fat, though. I'm sorry, what? You're, you're very fat. You're a fat lady. No, don't say that. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> I Why still you like you. Okay, well, there's... That's not the way you say that to a person that can hurt their feelings. Why are you talking to me like that? I don't understand why you said that to me. Don't, don't, so what should I say? What should I say? Well, you shouldn't say that you're fat. That's an insult. Well, you're, 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 you're a thick lady. You're a thick lady. Well, I call myself big and beautiful. Now you hurt my oh. feelings. Set this down. Now I don't know if I want to eat this. You're making me feel bad. Oh, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Well, while I was driving to the bank, um, I got another call from the IRS. Okay, they're telling me that there's something fishy going on. And I need to. I need you to be honest with me. Are Are you really with Publishers Clearinghouse? Yes, sweetheart. Okay, I also want to take an issue with you. By the way, my baby's back home. He's doing okay. He was severely dehydrated. You called me you called me fat yesterday, and you did it very accusatory. That really hurt my feelings. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry about that. You flipped on me yesterday. You were you were kind of being an asshole to me. I have nine thousand nine hundred dollars in cash. Okay, so so what? Where's the money orders? It's in an envelope. I have all the money orders. There's ten money orders. I'm gonna let you have them taken care of this morning, so that uh we could able to get everything done. And listen to me, sweetheart. Don't let yeah. anyone try to over. Don't let anyone try to overthrow you. This is where where I'm finding issues. Why did it go from thirty five thousand dollars to nine thousand five hundred? You're making it sound like it doesn't matter. No, nothing like that. I never told you. I remember the, the first money that I sent you for, it was for 35000 But I let you know that you're saying, the IRS is saying that you have to fill out some paperwork and something. What has been happening now, I'm just going to let you do the payment little by little so everything okay. could be done much more easier. Should I, so I wrote Publishers Clearinghouse. Pay to the order of Publishers Clearinghouse. New York. I'm gonna let you know how the they're blank, right? The money orders are blank, right? Not anymore. I put I I wrote paid to the order. It's paid to the order of Publishers Clearinghouse. I filled them out because that's I, where they're I going. never told. Listen, listen to me. I never told you to fill them out. I never told you that, sweetheart. Well, that's where they're going. Is the Publishers Clearinghouse, right? But remember, it, it, you cannot do it that way. You have done it wrong. No, you, it's part of the Publishers Clearinghouse Network. This person that's getting the money works for Publishers Clearinghouse, don't they? You need to get the instruction from me. Remember, I have to give you the information which is supposed to go on it. 
what, 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 which, what is the name you put on it? What's the name you put on it? Publishers Clearing House. You're not supposed to put that on it, okay? You put pay that's, to the order. There is a name. Where, there is a name where, that is... Where, listen, no, no, listen. Listen. That's where, listen. Okay, I, All right, I gave you the name which is supposed to go on it. That is the name for the Wells Fargo. That, that is the name you're supposed to put on the money order. Okay, well, pay to the order of is to the person receiving the money, and if they work for Publishers Clearinghouse, putting pay to the order of Publishers Clearinghouse is entirely... No, you're not. You're, no, 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 no. You're not going to do it that way. You need to listen to me. Well, I already have. So these are, these are payable to Publishers Clearinghouse. You, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. So, did you sign up all the all the ten of them already? Yes, I put Publishers Clearinghouse. I put my my address my address in the account section, and then I signed it with my name. All right, where you put the Publisher Clearinghouse, you're gonna have to take that that information out there. You're gonna have to take that information off. I don't see how I can. It's written in ink. You're gonna have to use a whiteout. Um, a, a whiteout? I don't have whiteout. I haven't done that in almost 20 years. I have to go get it. I have to go find whiteout. Where do I, I guess, the store? You're going to have to go to a bookstore to get a whiteout because that, that cannot go on, on the money order, sweetheart. The name that I gave you, that was supposed to go on. So why you never call me before you spill it out? Why you never call me? Okay, because honestly, this is this money is going to the publisher's clearinghouse, right? But you don't, you don't, you don't need to fill it out without my, without my instruction. I don't understand why I'm paying a person named Xavier. I don't, I don't get it. Who is Xavier? Sweetheart, she's a worker that work with the company. She's, she's the accountant. She is the okay. accountant. Okay, then I want to talk to her. I want to have a phone call with her. Yeah, that can happen. I, I don't know why they would sell white out at a bookstore though. That doesn't seem to make sense. I would think an office supply is where you would get white out. Yes, office supply is just like a bookstore also. No, they're not. <laughs> what do you mean? Office Depot does not sell books like Walden books. Bookstores sell books. Office supply sells paper and, and paper clips, white out, I'm sure. What I'm thinking is, is I might need to avoid them and then and then get my money back and then buy more. I can go to the post office and void them and get new ones. Maybe that's what I should do. Oh my God. It would be easier. Because they would take them and then void them and give me new ones and they would be blank. All right, yes, all right. Do that for me, sweetheart. Let them know you make a mistake. You seemed unhappy yesterday. And to be honest, when you called me, when you called me fat, I actually cr broke down crying. Just, I know just I'm let, just let that I know I'm overweight, but I can go to a doctor, especially if I have lots of money. I can lose weight. That that just knocked me down, kind of made me cry. Don't let don't let don't let me not knock you down because I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna give you some hard hardcore sex. Okay, well let's talk about that later because I'm not feeling too too sexy right now. Okay, Michael, I'm, I'm at the post office. I'm parking my car. <sighs> Are you okay? No, I was just stretching. Oh, you were stretching. Yeah. Okay, Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go, go do that. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad we went to the post office because if we had used whiteout, that would have voided them immediately. Okay, they're all blanks now, right? Yeah, they're blank. I, I haven't. I'm not filling them out. I still don't understand why I can't make it payable to, to. No, to, uh, just listen to me, sweetheart. You, you, you see the problem with you now. The only problem that I'm having with you, you're not listening. Okay, well I can tell you right now, if you want to become my lover, you will never utter that statement to me ever again. You understand? I am my own person. I make decisions and they are logical. I work for a healthcare company auditing claims and, and preventing fraudulent cl claims on our network. Do you think that I have a low IQ? Is that what you're saying? 
Because if you are, no, I'm a, no, no, you listen, no, you listen to, you listen to me. If I do become your partner, it's a 50, 50 proposition. I am not going to do your dishes and make your dinner and give birth to your children. I have a full-time career, and if I have money, I'm going to use it to make humanity better. So I'm going to have my own agenda. You got it? You don't okay. tell me. You don't tell me that I'm not listening. I am not an object. I'm a human being. Throw that up when you call me fat, and you might as well call me a piece of trash. Calm, calm down, sweetheart. Calm down. I am. I am calm. I am calm. I love um, you, all right? I love you. Well, you don't act like I love it. You. you don't love I someone love you. when you tell them. You don't tell someone you love. You don't listen. It sounds like you're talking to a little kid. I am not a little kid. I'm going to let you know what to do now, okay? okay? Okay, what am I doing with these with these money orders? Let me know now. It's getting cold. I, I need to start my car. What you say, honey? It's getting cold. I need to stop my car and turn on my damn heater. All right, go in your car. You're not in your car now? Uh, yeah, and I'm waiting for you to give me directions. How, how far are you away from how, how, how far are you away from the Wells Fargo now? Um, it's a 30 minute drive, same as yesterday. During the evening, the post office doesn't relocate to another location. It was 30 minutes yesterday. It's 30 minutes today. Don't you, don't I, don't you even remember? God! You act, you act like you never talked to me before. You don't listen. If, if anybody's not listening, it's you. Do you want me to go to Wells Fargo? Honey, I'm asking you a question. Do you want me to go to Wells Fargo? I'm getting a call from the headquarters. Hold on, just hold on. Okay, okay. I'm Hello? driving. I, I'm driving my car. Can you wait until I'm at a red light? Give me five minutes. Okay, how far are you away from the Chase Bank? The Chase Bank. Oh, Chase Bank? Well, hold on, let me think. Yeah. Okay, the closest Chase Bank. I'm going to have to get off the freeway and turn around because they're behind me. I think they're about 20 minutes away. All right, go to the Chase. Go to the Chase. The Chase Bank you're going to go to. I haven't taken my medication. So if I say certain things that are rude, it's because I, I don't have my meds. Okay, you idiot. Okay, okay, Michael. Michael! Bye. Hello. You got a phone cut off. I don't care. You're on the phone with me. You don't tell... Uh, you've been talking to other people while we're doing this? No, I wasn't talking to anyone. I said the phone was disconnected. Okay, well, I don't care. You talk to me and only me. That's one thing you gotta know about me. If I catch you talking to other women, I will bitch slap you so fast, you will wish you never met me. You understand? Okay, you go. I'm jealous. I'll show you this jealousy. You are not to talk or look at another woman. Okay, Michael, I have them all filled out. I have the person's name on each one. All right, good, good, good. And you, and you signed it and you put your address where your address is supposed to go, right? That's correct. I'm the only one you're supposed to talk to. I'm the one that is okay. in charge of getting your business done. Okay, I was in there, I was waiting in line, and they made an alert that the systems were down, and they don't have an ETA on when they'll be up, but they can't log into their systems. All right, he, so... went on, he, went on, he went on to say, don't bother going to the other Chase branches, they're down as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll call I'll call them in an hour and if they're if they're open, I'll drive back and back over. My mother my mother is babysitting my son and I really don't want my eighty five year old mother I need to take her back to her retirement center. Just do what you have to do now and put up those information safe, all right? I will. You have a good day, sweetie. I love you.
I love you too. So go home now and take your medication and get something to eat. Yeah, I need to take my psychotic meds because it's really starting to rat rattle me and I become very weird. Hello. Hello. Oh, Michael. Hi. How are you doing? How I'm doing fine. How are you, sweetheart? Well, I think it's going to be better. I'm back at the hospital while I was at work. My mother called frantic because little Jake was getting a fever again. So they rushed him here. Oh. And, but he, he had a 103 fever, which is really high. They're going to call me at any moment so I can get the news. So how have you been? I'm, I'm doing okay. How was your weekend? Well, outside of rest with my baby, uh, I really didn't get much done. My mother, she's starting to feel sick. I hope she doesn't have the COVID. It's bad enough having a baby, a four-month-old baby, and then your own mother might have it. We're talking just, I'm tired of this plague. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. So what is oh. our plan now? What is our plan now? All right, I want you to make it over there right now. What? No, I have to wait. My, my, they're going to come out and give me an update on, on Jake, and then I can go. You do what you have to do, and gave me a call as soon as you're, as soon as you're in the parking lot uh, of the it. Chase Bank. That's, that's the time you're going to call me. I, I did, just hang on the phone. They're summoning me. I'm going to just walk over and get an update, okay? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I guess let me grab my purse. I was just waiting for the doctor. He's gonna be he's gonna feel better pretty soon. I think so too. Yeah. I think so. I think so too. Yeah. Because you know what's going on now, I'm I'm just dying to meet you, sweetheart, you know? Yes, I can sit down. Um what is it, doctor? Uh, well, I, I don't know how to put this gently, but your son, Jacob, complications from the COVID, man. We thought he was doing so well, but he just oh took my. a bad turn and we couldn't oh, save no. him. Oh my God, no! My Jacob's died! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> she, she's on her way. Michael. Uh, yes, I'm here. I'm here. My turkey's died. <laughs> my baby died. Oh I'm my god, oh my god, I, I feel died. like I wanna cry. Oh my god, you take it easy, sweetie, take it easy. I'll talk to you later. Yes, sweetheart, I'm here. Oh, um, yes, I'm here. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still shaking up. I was gonna ask you a couple of things if I can. Yes. Since you care about me so much and you're you're in you, you said you're in New York, right? Yes, I sweetheart. I haven't told anybody about you, but we're having Jake's funeral um, this Wednesday. Would you be willing to come and come to his little funeral with me? Yes. Well, I, I, uh, I could I could try my best to come over there, but if uh, I could try my best to make it there to, to to meet you, so that we could be able to get everything done. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So what you're saying? The funeral is Wednesday. You, what are you gonna? You're gonna cremate it, or are you gonna or what? No, we're religious. We're gonna bury. He's gonna be in a casket, and we're gonna bury him. Oh, you're gonna bury him. Oh my God, we, we, I'm so sorry about that. My condolence. My condolence. Well, I'm gonna try my best to be there because I'm very tied up at work now. I have a lot of clients to dealt with and such work. So I'm gonna try my best, and I'm gonna let you know if I can by tomorrow if I could be there. All right? Go, 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 go to the bank now. Well, give me a you, minute. You think? You think? You, 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 you think you have as much time could make it to the bank now? Well, they don't close until 6. It's 15. It's only 15 to 5, so I can still make it to the bank. All right, honey. Get yourself appeared now. Get yourself appeared. So let okay. me know as soon as you're at the bank, all right? And take your time. 
Oh, I, I will. I'm still pretty shaken, as you can imagine. I think, thanks for understanding me. I'm sorry that if it seems like I have nothing but drama, but my son was very dear to me. I'm gonna be here to accompany you. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm accompany you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep you calm. All right. Okay. When I, when I get there, I'll let you know. Um, I might ask you a question when I get to a stoplight, if I can muster the courage. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Just hold, hold fate, hold fate, and be safe. Do you have children? Yes, I just have two kids. So then you know yeah. what it's like. You you can imagine what it's like being a parent losing the child. Then. Yeah, I know it. I know it feels because uh, what has been happened. I lose my sister. I lose my sister last year, and I ha and I have and I have two sisters and a brother. So I only have one sister remaining and one brother. Oh, what about your children? You, you, you have children. Yeah, I have children, but none of them are deceased. I I feel like my my chain has been yanked. First Jake was sick, then he got better, then he got sick again, and then today he was running a fever, and I guess it was more severe. I mean, it's obvious. All right, honey, be safe. All right. Hello. Hi. Um, I, I'm arrived at the Chase Bank. Right. Yeah. There's some strange black vehicles. There's two black sedans right out front. It's really weird. Um, okay, yeah. I just need to go in. I just need to go in and, and deposit this. Yeah, and remember, keep your business private. If they try to ask you, let them know it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a relative of yours. All right? Michael, I don't know what to say of this. This is really making me scared. I was in there, and there were two federal agents in there. I left. I, I did not go. I, I'm back in the car because... They're, they're asking about that same person. Who is who is this person? Why 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 would there be agents asking about her? All right, go back to the post office and get back your money. Go back to the post office and get your refund. Okay, okay, okay. What? And this call, is getting call weird. me call, call me back as soon as you get your refund. All right. Just stay on the phone with me. I'm, I'm I have questions for you. Okay, Michael, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I was able to get my money back. What did you say? What What did you What happened when you go to the bank? Okay, there were two agents in the lobby, and I was waiting in line to go to the teller, and I I heard the lady's name and the city, so I got scared and I left. I'm starting to get a little worried here, Michael. Why are we seeing agents uh, now? Why am I seeing federal agents? All right, listen, listen what I want you to do. Listen what I want you to do now, okay? You see what? the piece of paper which, I, listen, you see the piece of paper which I gave you with the lady's name on it, you're gonna put it in the shredder. I'm gonna do what? The, 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 name, the name that I gave you and also with the account numbers and such for it, you're going to put them back in the treader. Put those pieces of paper in the treader. Okay, I'll shred them immediately. I will. When I get home, I'm going to shred them. How far are you away from uh, the store that I let you go, get the gift cards the other day? What's the name of that store? So, uh, I went to CV. I went to, well, I went to a different one, but CVS is the one that I went to. Walgreens is closer. It's about 20 minutes away. All right, go to the Walgreens now. Michael. Yes, I'm here. Okay, I, I I need to put my foot down. Why am I going back to do the to this to this drugstore and buying something when we can't straight up just get the money where it needs to go? This is getting ridiculous. This doesn't seem to make much sense. Why am I going to a Walgreens? I know what I'm doing. Just listen to me, and I will told you what to do when you're there. It, no, Michael, I'm going. I'm going back home. I got a bad day. I, my baby died on me, and you're running me around town like I'm some piece of meat. I'm not running you around, okay, sweetheart? Yes, you are. I'm gonna go home and take a bath. I got a bad day. Go to the Walgreens. 
I'm not going to Walgreens. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Three days ago, you said I was fat. I have enough reasons to feel really bad right now. I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to have some wine until I can't see anymore, and I'm going to go to sleep. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay, so you want me to go to Dollar General? You want me to get um, some cards? How, how have you been, by the way? Um, are you in good spirits? Yeah, I'm I'm doing all right, darling. Michael, I need to warn you. I'm on medication. If I snap at you, don't take it personally. I know. You're going to purchase three cards for 500 okay. apiece. The name of the the name of the card is uh one vanilla gift card. So, how have you been? I mean, I I know you must work all day talking to people and helping them getting their winnings. Um, are you liking your job? What do you What do you yeah, think about I, your job? Yeah, I, I I like my job. It's a good job, you know. Yeah, you get to do something good in life, you know. Most of the time, you know. I'm gonna leave my phone in the car because I need it to charge up. Okay. All right, no problem. I will be here on the line. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I was able to get three one vanilla gift cards, five hundred apiece. Okay, all right, wonderful. All right, do you know how to send a picture message? I used to, but that's when I had that's when I had a smartphone. I don't have a smartphone anymore. All right, um, I'm going to let you open them up one by one, and uh, I'm going to let you give me the information, okay? 4118-7214. Okay. 3618-1585-37. Repeat it. Fifteenity five three seven. Did you say twenty five or seventy five? No, fifteen eighty five. Fifteen eighty five, right? No, 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 no. Fifteenity five. It's the fifteenity symbol followed by the number five. Twenty five. So that's five twenty five, right? No, 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 no. It's the fifteenity symbol. Which looks like the letter Y with two little um, dashes underneath it, followed by the five. It's pronounced fifteenity five, and then the last two digits are thirty-seven. So the fifteenth of December, then five, right? Yes. Yeah, fifteenity symbol. It, it looks like a Y with two dashes beneath the the, the place where the Y joins together. Okay, and then five, and then three. Yes. Seven, seven, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Move on to the next one. A four one one eight three one eleven four. Hold on. Hold on. Three hold on. five five one. Okay. Hold on. All right. Start it. G gave it back to me. Over. Okay. Four one one eight eleven four. One eleven four. Oh my goodness, Michael, Michael. Um, it's three one followed by the eleven T symbol, and then the number four, and it's pronounced oh. eleven D four. It's just the vernacular of the new numbering system. Don't tell oh. me you don't know about the new numbering system. Eight two four ten and two. Eight two four twenty two. Four ten, no, eight two, and then the fourteenity symbol, followed by two. The fourteenth of December, right? What? It has nothing to do with December. It's the fourteenity right. symbol. My neighbor at home has a phone. If we go back right now, maybe I can have them take a picture for you. Okay. All right. I got I got the pictures. Well, I'm going to shred them because we don't want the chance of me throwing them away and someone digging through my trash. So I'm going to shred the card. Yeah. There's one. 
my employer gifted these um, shredders to us because they want us to exercise security when it comes to documentation, and this is an example. How much cash money you have there remained in? 7000 all right. No, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have things straightened out from overnight so I could I could um know which bank you're going to go in the morning because you said there's no TD bank around there, right? No. No TD bank. There's ATMs, uh, but there's no TD banks. No, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have things straightened out uh so I could let you know which bank we're going to be using in the morning. And now, listen carefully now, honey. Don't tell okay. no one at all. Don't tell no one at all what we're talking about or what we're don't tell no, to do. Don't, don't tell no Noah one the at doll, all. The Noah the doll. I don't know what you mean by Noah the doll. All right. I'm saying don't say anything. Don't tell no one. Oh what we're yes what we're planning okay. or what we're gonna do i'm thinking that someone is impersonated me so i don't um you know you gotta be careful who yeah you they don't... all right yeah right yes. so uh, from now on whatever we're doing we do it under our passcode all right becky yes becky the becky passcode all right okay from now on whatever okay. we do we do it under that okay all right okay Okay, and you can call me anytime also. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. You don't have a photo that you can send to me, do you? I can send you my photo. All right, yeah, both, both of us could send um, photos. I can send okay, you tomorrow, one. Okay, tomorrow can... I'll send you my photo and you can send me your photo. That would be nice. All right. Okay, love you, honey. Okay. Talk to you a little later. Love you too, sweet. Mwah. Love you too, sweetie. Mwah. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. 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 Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. 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 Hi, darling. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Well, to say that for a Friday, it sure is pretty busy. I I don't know if my my boss is um, sending me a message. I want to tell him, you know, look, I, my child passed away. I had the, the, the funeral early this week, and give me a break, and he, they don't listen to me. Okay. Oh, my God. I think, I think the boss should give you a chance. The minute I have that, my hands on that money, I'm just going to tell him to take this job and shove it, you know? He won't give you a break as soon as this money has been delivered. It's not really a time to afford it. They, they, they were texting me before I even got out of the, out of the shower, and I was like, "What the heck's going on?" They said, "We need you at the office ASAP. Get your, your fat little." Ass. She called me fat. They call me fat. I'm like, "Don't call me fat." Oh my God! Did they do that? Yeah, and then I'm like, it's "Why are you calling me them. fat?" And then I got into the office and said, "Hey, fat so I said, "Thanks, boss. I'm trying to lose weight." So, let me calm for a second. I almost got triggered. I don't want to get triggered because I'm not very nice when I'm triggered. You won't like me. You won't want me to get angry. You won't like me when I get angry. That's from the Incredible Hulk. That's an Incredible Hulk line. Oh, my God. And I don't want you to get upset at all. So, today, uh, what time you're leaving work today? Um, I'm going to be leaving at about 3.40 in the afternoon. I should be home by 4. When you leave in the wreck, you could just call me. That time, I could be able to just provide you with information. So You need to understand could... something. No, you listen to me. You keep running me around town. From here over there, up and down, round and round. I don't get to eat very often, so this time, this time, mister, you're going to let me get some food. You got it? Yes, I need you to get okay. when you get home, you get some food, honey. It's all uh it's all depends. I'm waiting on the accountant's department now to text me the information. So they will let me know which bank we are gonna use. So I need you to get some food when you're leaving work, honey. Are you expecting me to eat food in my uniform? You know what would happen no. if I got hamburger sauce on my on my blouse and on my on my pants? No. I would no, be so no, fired. You're... 
Listen, asshole. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off work. I'm gonna drive home. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna then get ready, and we're gonna go. And I'm gonna stop by and get something to eat. Cause I need to Definitely. eat. I'm a big girl. Definitely. Don't call you me fat. Something. You call me fat again. I'm a bitch slap you so hard. You land in some. I don't care. You be in the ocean. Okay, sweetie. Okay, my darling, dear, my honey bun. I won't oh, call boy. you fat. I, I, I yeah, don't call me. Don't. The other day. I'll never do that again. Don't call me fat. I'm a big girl. I got big I'm bones. A... But I got a big yeah, heart. You're sexy. I'm, you're sexy with I'm the... cuddly. You're sexy. you're sexy with the big bones. I'm a whole lot of women. Lots and lots of love. Please, Remember, sweetie. I'm promise. just I, I'm just trying to be equitable here and be your friend and your lover. Definitely. I know you want to get your hand on me. Oh, definitely. I and trust me to get to saying putting your hands on me is gonna be a stretch if you know what i mean because i'm a big big hunk of love but Doesn't there's lots matter. of heart there's lots of heart Doesn't set you in a little back shot and wail you like you've never been wailed before okay let's not get to details here i don't want to be hot and bothered while at work exactly that's what i was just gonna say <laughs> I don't want you to get wet while you're at work right there, so my woman my woman boner is going boing. I don't want it to do that. Okay. I got work to do. I got work to do. I have buckets of KY and Vagisil and even Vaseline. I I don't really like Vaseline, but sometimes it, it's needed. And mm -hmm. it has a there's a scoop that helps you. And then there's a pad that you can plop a Plop it on until it warms up and becomes kind of liquidy. And then mm -hmm. you just take it and you slap. You just okay. apply it liberally to the needed areas. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get, I, I, I can't talk <laughs> about this. Then I'm getting really oh. red. Uh, honey, I, I love you. Um, um, uh, let me do my work and then we'll... Mm -hmm. We'll go to wherever you need me to go, but I need to stop by Mickey D's and and have a makeup lunch. Um, I'm I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be as as I'm gonna be so hungry I could eat a horse, a big horse, like a Clydesdale, that kind of hungry. Okay. 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 All right, honey. All right. All right. Do what you gotta do now. I love you. I talk to you a little later. Oh hi, yes, darling. Michael. Michael, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, darling. How are you doing? Well, sweetie, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Michael, you are a doll. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, in other words, if I saw you in person in that very same pose, I'd rush to you, grab you by the nutsack, and thrust you into the depths of my mommy milkers. Oh, please, cream me, you Adonis, god hunk of manly goodness. Phew, oh. I I'm hot like honey dripping from a drop bear and swept oh. away like a fart in a windstorm. You swept me off my, f you, you're just going to sweep me off my feet. I am so enamored. You are literally in control of, well, Millions, if not billions, of dollars. What are you doing with a broken phone, sweetie? <laughs> no, well, uh, well, actually, today it actually failed. So maybe it just hacking up. I don't know. You know, when we get married, yeah. when we get married, I'm gonna make sure you're tethered to the latest, greatest 5G phone, because I'm gonna keep okay. an eye on my man. I'm not gonna let you slip away with a face like Definitely. that. You probably get oh, flocks of you get flocks of women swooning you. I'm sure. <laughs> oh my God! I'm a possessive woman. I want to keep my man to myself. When you get over at the bank, you're inside of the car in the parking lot. I'm gonna provide you with information, okay? Okay, but I'm not getting more money. Yeah. I'm just taking this eight, the seven. This seven thousand dollars is what we're doing, 7, right? Seven thousand, yes. 
I would like to get two quarter pounder. No, make that two double quarter pounders with cheese. Extra cheese on each. A Big Mac and a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with two barbecue and two mustard pack sauces. Double those because I really like to sauce it up. A chicken and garden salad. I'll mix them together as I eat them with ranch, the heavy thick buttermilk ranch. Two McFlurries, but one of them only half full because I want to get an apple pie heated and then dunked into the flurry so that I can have my a la mode. Three supersized french fries extra salt and barbecue packets a piece. And let me think here. I need to watch myself. I'll take a small Diet Coke to go. Michael, are you there? Yes, honey, I'm here. Okay, I've ordered my food. They're making it right now. Yeah, well, you got to get something to eat. You know? Make sure you got get some food. Well, well yeah, That's I'm still growing. I, ooh, that, those fries. I can smell them fries. I'm getting really nice. Ah! Mm, nom, nom, nom. Oh, I forgot to say ketchup. Lots and lots of ketchup. Yes. $85? Oh my gosh. That's the biggest bill I've seen in a while. It's like $83.57. That's one quarter pounder. I wanna... <laughs> oh, that was good. Michael, you there? Yes, sweetie, I'm here. I think I'm almost finished. I just texted you the information. Oh, you did? Okay, let me take a look. Oh, it looks like I... Looks like I have a message from the hospital. Hi, Susan Walker. This is Dr. John Hopkins at the Salt Lake Regional Medical Center. Okay. I have uh, some urgent news for you. Your mother collapsed at her... Uh, Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my. Oh no. Oh Jesus. My mom's collapsed in the, the ICU. If you yes, I can hear. I'm, I gotta, I gotta tell them to move their car. Well, how yeah, many move, your, move how your car. Many? Move your car. How many person in front of you, darling? There's two. There's a car behind me. Thank you. I'm I'm out. I'm I'm going to the hospital. Oh my God. Oh, so. My mom's gonna be sick. I just lost Jake. I can't lose my mother. Man, exactly. She's not gonna die. She's been there from about a hour. No, you listen to me. This is life or death. It's my mother. Now I'm setting the phone she's down. She's not gonna die. Don't say she's gonna Shut die. Shut up! Be quiet. This is my mom. I'm setting she's the phone down. Die, I don't want. I you hope to say not. Gonna... Don't talk about no deposit until I know what's going on with my dear mother. Oh no, Michael. My mother is now on a ventilator. That's pretty serious. She's on a ventilator. Definitely. I'm about 10 minutes away from the hospital. Michael, this is your future mother-in-law. Say something. All right, darling. I'm saying, darling, I need you to get over there and make sure that she's doing all right. I'm worried okay, also. I'm here worried like also. And take doesn't your sound time like you're all that Don't concerned. Don't dive in too much rush. Doesn't sound like you're really concerned to me. It's your future mother-in-law, yes. for goodness sake. Jesus. Honey. Yeah. Yes, honey, darling. Honey, don't. this. I'm okay, that okay. I'm... Okay, okay. I gotta put the phone down. I'm gonna to my mom. My mom has got I'm tubes here. hooked you... up. She has. She's in a bed and she has a, a thing on her face. She has a zip on her face. No, that it's a mouth thing and it and there's a. It's helping her breathe. I didn't help her to breathe. I'm gonna, Michael. I'm gonna have to go. They're telling me that she's gonna be here at least 
two days, maybe probably longer. I don't know. I'm not leaving this hospital with my mother like this. Oh my God. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let you go. They don't want us bringing cell phones in here. Yeah. They just motion for me. I gotta hang up. Hello. Hey, sweetie. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you doing, Michael? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just, I, all I could say is I'm on pins and needles. I, I feel as almost like life is throwing me through a, a hell loop. Uh, I, I, I don't blame God for things, but I came awful close because my mom, she's the only person I have left other than my brother. And he doesn't mm -hmm. ever return. He doesn't return phone calls. He's, he's he's strange. He's off in Alaska somewhere. The last time we checked, he's a globe mm -hmm. I My brother, his name is Ray. He's a he's a nasty piece. Let me tell you, Ray thinks he's a playboy mm -hmm. when he's not. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. that, you know how brothers can be, I'm sure. But my dear mother, she's all I have. I I if I mm -hmm. lose her. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Definitely, because you know we can all we can get a lot of kids, we can get a lot of brothers, we can get a, a lot of boyfriend, a lot of husband. What we can only get one mom or oh, one. Oh, there's dad, only one know? mom. There, that everybody yeah. has their mom, and nobody replaces them. She has an upper respiratory um, infection. I kind of mm -hmm. knew it was coming because she had a, a, she had bronchitis, she was getting bronchitis about a week ago. Apparently, um, while she was in the waltz room, they were, the TV mm -hmm. was playing, she mm -hmm. passed out from lack of oxygen and she's all but got pneumonia, but she's on a respirator. It's, they don't even want to give me odds of survival. That's how frustrated I am. Definitely. What are you expecting me to do today? Because I'm sure I'll have time. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, banks are open till 1 p.m. Yes, I need you to um, still go over to the Chase Bank. And you have the information, right? Um, yes, I did bring it. I thought it... it cause I, yes. I've been, I've been at this hospital since we talked yesterday. I haven't left. I know, I know, because I've been I've been worried. I called you and I couldn't get a hold of you, so okay. I said she must be there. And because you told me that you Aging weren't Susan gonna leave Walker. here, Aging Susan I was Walker. Oh, no, they're Susan me. Walker, they're please report me. to nursing station four. All right, Susan call. Walker, all right, please call. To call me as you then. No, stay on the phone because um, you're hard to get a hold of. I'm just gonna put you in my my pocket, okay? Hi, doctor. Um, you're calling for me? I, I've got some news about your mother. Okay. Um, sure. Let me just close the door. It, okay. It's it's not good. Okay. Okay. Um, what's going on, doctor? Um, I know you've had a very trying week, and if you remember, I'm the one who brought you the news about Jake. Well... <sighs> Your mother passed away about five oh, minutes ago. Oh, no. <laughs> we did everything we could. Miss Walker, I, I, have, I have this note. It's the last thing she wanted you to have. Could you, could you read it? it it's, very, it's very important. Okay, okay, okay. My darling Susan. I'm so sorry, I can't stay with you any longer. I'm going to be with Jay. Please forgive me for being fucked in some Michael, Michael, you there? Yes, darling, I'm here. Oh my I'm god. I'm going to die. I'm going to oh die. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is this happening, Michael? Why is God doing oh this my... to me? Oh my God! Oh my God! I can't <laughs> believe, darling. What's going 
going on? What's really going on, darling? Oh my God! Right now, I'm so stressed out. Right now, I'm frustrated. Also, darling, I, I don't understand. What I'm sorry, Michael. I will call you as soon as I can. Okay? I'm a little worried. Um, I don't know how to say this without scaring you, but I've been hearing a voice in my head. And my psychologist told me to, to try and not spend too much time alone because of that. Mm-hmm. I, it's weird. I was just piecing out on my, piecing out on my couch on Sunday, mm -hmm. just trying to cozy up to a nice uh, new show on Netflix uh, um, about zombies. And all of a sudden, I heard somebody whisper in my ear. They said hello, and I said, "Who's that?" They said, "Hi, my name's Captain Howdy. How are you?" Doing? I was like, "What?" So, <laughs> and I'm like, who the hell's Captain Howdy? And I was like, that sounds like something a little kid would, like Captain Howdy and the and the nine the nine Musketeers or whatever. I was mm -hmm. like, so I just happened to ask Captain Howdy. I said, how do you do? And he says, we're doing fine. And I said, what do you mean we're doing fine? I don't know you. And he says. I am not one person. I am many. I am legion. I'm like, that sounds biblical. And he goes, it is. And then he just broke into this, ha, 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 ha. And then I didn't hear from him until late early this morning. He said, boo. And I'm like, ah. So I took my medication and now I can't hear him. So I'm okay. Oh, by the way, oh. um, I have my mother's funeral is this wednesday are you going to be able to make it well i can try to see if i could i could arrange and and i could be there because i would really want it to be there um okay so what's on our agenda today what do we need to do okay well i was hoping if you could go over to the uh the chase bank to do the deposit oh okay so let's plan on me calling you when i get home at 4 p.m how does that sound that's wonderful all right. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry about me and my voices. I'm pretty sure Captain Howdy is just a figment of my imagination from some okay. long-lost childhood memory, okay? Definitely. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, sweetie. I love you. All right. Love you too, baby. Mwah. And honey, Mwah. kisses, with, hi All kisses right, with honey and sugar. Bye-bye. Oh, I was just worried about you. Well, they do have me on some. They do have me on some heavy medication. Um, I can drive, but they said to be very careful. Okay. Well, I'm gonna set the phone down. I've got another ten or so minutes, maybe less, then I'll be there. Okay. I'm gonna go through the drive-through. That's what you're expecting, right? All right. I think so. You think it's okay. good done, dear? I'm, I'm, okay. I've got like five cars ahead of me, so it's going to be a, a bit. So tell me, um, sorry that I've been such a letdown to you. I mean, I had a nervous breakdown. The medicine that they give me does help, but I still break into depressing crying fits. Usually around two in the morning, it seems. Mm -hmm. I'm, sure not, I'm sure your other contestants haven't been that much of a burden. I mean, you, you, you must keep busy awarding this money to your to your other people, right? No, well, at the end of the day, I remember your health is very, very much important, you know? Well, I, I thank you kindly for that. You, you're, you are an amazing person to me. Okay, I mean, well, I, you know, yes. I yes. saw the, the photo of you. You're so strikingly, like, you're, you're gorgeous. You're, you're a very, very handsome man. Thank you. My first husband, um, he wasn't the greatest person. Mm -hmm. His name was Bradley, and he was, he was mean to me. He wasn't very nice. Oh, okay. So he wasn't a nice person. I was married to him. I was married to him for four years, 
and in those four years, and I known he had a drug problem, I wouldn't have married him. I didn't know he was a meth addict. He would get, he was losing weight and his teeth were rotten. It was really bad. Oh my God. And he would come home and he would be gone for days and he'd be tweaking real bad. And I would try to feed him and he wouldn't, he wouldn't eat. I even tried to dress sexy for him and he wouldn't do anything. He was really bad. It got so oh bad. My. I had I had to take matters into my own hands. Mm-hmm. Definitely because he won't stop drinking. You know? Well, he wasn't drinking. He was just a bad meth addict. He couldn't stop oh. stop it. So I, I guess you don't have a girlfriend. I mean, someone with with your good luck, surely, I would have expected you to have a girlfriend at least. Well, I, I, I don't have a girlfriend right at this moment. No, um, excuse me, Captain Howdy. Are you, why are you talking, Captain Howdy? I know you're not real. Could you please not butt into my, in my boyfriend's conversation? <laughs> Captain Howdy, please. I'm sorry, Michael. Yes. I was hearing that voice. I was hearing that voice again. Okay, Captain Hardy, you need to get away, okay? Get away, Captain Hardy. You're, you're not rich. The blood of Jesus me. is against him. No, Can you hear me no. now, darling? No, can there's you hear no me now, darling? I can hear you fine, Michael. This Captain Hardy keeps trying to butt in. Get away, Captain Hardy. No, no, no. Have, no, I would never do that. No. He's starting get to away, threaten Captain. me. Get away, Captain Hardy. Get away. Get away. Get away. Yeah, you listen to you listen to him. You're not real, Captain Howdy. Get away, Captain Hardy. Why are you calling me ugly? That's not nice, Captain Howdy. I can feel a sensation on the back of my neck when he starts to talk. Okay, um, Michael, they just it's told me hard. that there's there. Are, they're only allowing a maximum of a thousand dollars to go to this recipient. There's something going on with the account. Can you all check right. on your site? Can you check on your site? All right, all right. Send, send, send a thousand, send a thousand. No, 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 you stop. Stop talking to me. I'm gonna go get that doctor. That doctor is to blame for this. Michael! Baby, could you tell him that the blood of Jesus is No, there's him? something wrong. I'm backing out of this. I'm gonna go to that doctor and I'm gonna... No, I can't let them do this to me. These drugs are hurting me. I'm going to the... I'm going to the doctor and I'm gonna remove you. Blood this of Jesus is right. against them. The blood of Jesus is against your heart. The blood of what? Jesus is against you, Hardy. The blood of Jesus is against you, Hardy. The blood of Jesus is against you. No, it's just a... Ah, I'm telling you the truth. The blood of Jesus is against you, Hardy. The blood of Jesus is against you, Hardy. This is not... No, stop! The blood of Jesus is against you, Hardy. Michael! Michael, make it stop! The I'm gonna go to the doctor. I'm Hardy. gonna go pick that doctor and I'm gonna tell him to stop it. Hardy, you need to stop this. Hardy, you need to stop this. Baby, I'm thinking it's your mind. Just think about me. Alright? No, I'm going to the I'm going back to the hospital. I'm gonna teach that doctor a lesson or two. This is insane. Hardy needs to get away. He's, he's, he's behaving bad. Can you say this to me, darling? The blood of Jesus is like against you, Hardy. Now I'm getting out, I'm going to go to that doctor, and I'm going to tell him what he can do with this medicine. Definitely. Okay, what, um, did you already, did you already send a thousand? No, hell no. I'm going in there. Oh, okay. All right, let's talk. Yeah, to I'm going to open the doors, and I'm going to just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no
So there you have it, folks. Part one of what stands as my most prolific scam bait to date. Over the course of a month and a half, I baited Michael Washington to the nth degree, liberating 17 mule victims and three criminal mules from his arsenal. Liberating mules from a PC8 scammer is very damaging to their operations. Without mules to launder their money, PC8 scammers are left with simple gift card scams until they can purchase more money mules from the markets they peruse. In this multi-part scam bait saga, I literally uncapped hours of real-time imagination of his own story and dialogue. I baited Michael with two characters, Susan Walker and her brother Raymond. It was during this bait that Play Ray was born and up and coming episodes of this bait, you will get a chance to meet them. To date, this is my most prolific scam bait ever. When I first started scam baiting, I had no idea I would end up with this scenario and I'm very pleased by its outcome. It also served as a boilerplate for other PC8 scam baits, such as the one I had with Christian Wolf, the Wolf of Kingston, and the yet to be released bait sessions with the infamous James Alfred. So it's with great pleasure I bring this bring the heart of this scam bait to you today and in the coming weeks the saga of Project Michael Zero will unfold week after week on Sundays right here on YouTube. Cheers! <laughs>